It is certainly a success story for this one-time Syracuse startup. They've grown beyond that. Now a unicorn valued at over a billion dollars, but also for the Syracuse Tech Garden and the region. Density now opening a major manufacturing facility in the Whitlock building on South Salina Street across from Salt City Market, downtown Syracuse. Here to talk more about it, Density VP of Operations, Garrett Bastable. Garrett, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Nice to be with you, Jeff. Um, we have been chronicling several milestones for the company. Um, amazing growth. What's this latest announcement mean to the company? Yeah, so I, I joined the founding team at Density about uh, six years ago to lead operations, as you mentioned. And at the time, there were a uh, half dozen of us in Syracuse. And today, we're nearly 200 mm -hmm. uh, people across 29 states and eight countries. And Density is now valued at over a billion dollars, as you mentioned. Um, so yeah, the growth has been totally amazing. And in terms of what this particular announcement means to us, um, it means we remain committed to Syracuse. And, and that's really where it all started for Density. And we're investing in the infrastructure and the, and the people to continue scaling Density um, right here in Syracuse. Uh, what do you plan to use the Whitlock building for specifically? And, and when's it going to be operational? When can you get in there? Yeah, so the primary use of the Whitlock building for Density is advanced manufacturing. Hmm. However, um, if you've ever been downtown there, right across from Salt City Market, it's just prime real estate in the heart of uh, Syracuse's resurgence. And so we also plan to house our, our future hybrid office space um, and, and all of our development and reliability lab activities, warehousing, and shipping and receiving for our uh, sensor technology, which um, we already ship to over 40 countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, out just you know right right from Syracuse. Um, Whitlock will be ready at least for the manufacturing portion of it. Uh, when are you thinking? Well, we actually are already building. Um, so so we just did a ribbon cutting earlier this week. Yep. And uh, we're already building product there. Mm. Um, we can you know build uh, tens of thousands of units a year and scaling up significantly from there um, into the hundreds of thousands uh, by the end of this year. Um, so you opened the first small manufacturing um, in the Syracuse Tech Garden. Um, what happens to that? Do you keep a presence there or do you move out and make room for somebody, the next density in the Tech Garden to manufacture there? Yeah, well, I mean, so speaking of the ribbon cutting we did earlier this week, uh, you uh, you were present for our rib ribbon cutting mm -hmm. at the hardware center uh, just three years ago at the Tech Garden. Um, and. You know, it's amazing just in three years uh, how far we've come there. And as I mentioned, Density was founded right here in Syracuse in 2014. And really, the uh, center state and, and the tech garden have enabled, enabled us to get to this point. Um, and, but they also see a uh, success story in Density as, you know, graduating, so to say, from mm -hmm. that facility. And so while we continue to work uh, out of both locations, the Syracuse Tech Garden, um, as well as the new Whitlock building, uh, our hope is that there are other startups um, that will follow in our footsteps and take advantage of all that the Tech Garden has to offer and support from um, uh, the mayor, uh, Ben Walsh, who's been wonderful to us, the county executive, uh, Ryan McMahon, who's also been very supportive, and uh, Rob Simpson, the president of Center State and his organization, um, have really made, uh, made in many ways, um, what was once a small company, uh, what we are today. Yeah. What does the move into the Whitlock building mean for Syracuse? You talked about the potential in that part of downtown on South Salina Street, um, and certainly what it means for your company. What, what does it mean for Syracuse and the region to have that occupied, that section? Yeah, so um, I think density can be an example of what's possible here. Um, you know, we're homegrown in Syracuse. And we're expanding our operations here substantially. Uh, Whitlock represents um, an amazing uh, seven times the capacity we've had at the hardware center we just talked about uh, in terms of our production capacity. And uh, that allows us to get to uh, around 400,000 sensors per year. So the Whitlock facility um, is, is really uh, makes this possible for us and allows us to, 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 again, expand and grow in right here in Syracuse. I got about 30 seconds, so I'm gonna get this one in. What do you think this all means, um, your story, this move now to Whitlock, a big step forward? What do you think it means to other people, other um, startups in the region right now, or potential startups? Yeah, so when I reflect on this, I mean, starting a company is hard, and it's sometimes really hard, and having, um, uh, starting in Syracuse has been a wonderful thing for us. And, and like I mentioned, having partners like Center State and the Tech Garden who are dedicated to supporting uh, uh, and incubating um, co uh, companies like Density uh, in our early stages 
um, is incredibly valuable. Uh, we, we certainly took advantage of this to get off the ground and, and continued partnering with Center State and the Tech Garden for almost a decade now. And I'd like to believe Densi is just one example of what's possible with this type of partnership. Um, and 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 like you like we said, you know, Whitlock is just an evolution of that with with the same uh, uh, support uh, that that the broader Syracuse community provides for a company like Density. Jared Bastable, VP of Operations for Density. We'll keep following you. Thanks so much for joining us for this step of the journey. Thanks, Garrett. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it.